Hey everyone, I'm Ellie and today I want to give you a little insight into what food at LSE is like. So first I'm going to talk about food on campus and then I'll go on to talk about food in LSE halls. So campus is actually in a really really nice location. It's super close to walk to Covent Garden or even Chinatown. So many nice restaurants and cafes you can go to so don't worry about not finding anything. Also, campus is enclosed by two main streets, which makes it super easy to just go to a prêt à manger, to a supermarket or any other coffee shop if you ever need anything. But campus itself, despite being quite small, actually has 10 places where you can get something to drink or something to eat. So this is a map of all the restaurants and cafes on campus. Um, all of them are supposed to have a halal, a vegetarian and a gluten-free option. However, they also serve kosher and vegan dishes in some places. And there's actually two places that specify on only serving vegan food, which is really nice, I think. Now I'm going to tell you about my favorite restaurant on campus, which is a Fofla restaurant in the old building. It's really nice because you can get a main dish and sides for five pounds, and I know five pounds is quite expensive. However, if you only have it a few times a month, I think it's really worth your money because LSE catering in general, also in halls, always gives you a lot, a lot of food. So I think it really pays off and it's also really good. So you can choose from a main course, which is an international, a British, a vegetarian dish, or from the wok bar or the noodle bar. And British dish would be fish and chips, international would be like pizza or something, and it's actually, it's really, really good. Unfortunately, don't, they don't have a vegan option. I hope they change it soon. As I said, the portion sizes are really, really nice, so that's definitely a big bonus point. And also, I think it's really nicely decorated because it has like a lot of different flags inside, and then you can also eat it on the terrace, or you can obviously take it with you anywhere on campus if you want to. My second favorite would be the Garrett Cafe, which is on a ground floor of the Columbia House, actually kind of opposite of the old building, so very close to the fourth floor restaurant as well. And they have a lot of like snacks or little meals, so they have sushi, toast, you know, muffins and all these things, and they also serve breakfast, which is really nice, so I definitely recommend that too. And my last recommendation would be a restaurant that's not LSE owned, I think, but it's also really nice. It's called The Rights Bar, and it's actually in the same street as the Garrett Cafe and the old building. It's really like right next to the entrance of the old building, and the owners are so nice, and I think the price range for like a main course is about the same as in the Fofla restaurant, so I would also encourage you guys to go there once or try it out, because I found it really nice and like a welcoming atmosphere. So now I'll talk about food in LSE halls. So LSE has a lot of catered halls, especially the undergraduate ones. And catered means that you get dinner from Sunday to Friday, except for a brunch on Saturday. And I have to say that before coming to university, I was a little bit nervous about food because I was just afraid that like the vegan or vegetarian food would just be like uh, frozen vegetables every day because that's like the experiences I used to have in cafeterias. But I have to say I'm so surprised and really grateful because the food was amazing. I was so happy. They put in so much effort into making like a big variety of dishes and they incorporated so many national dishes and made them vegan but in general whatever food you would like to eat you can enter your dietary requirements before coming to to LSE on the hall pad which is the online booking system for halls in general so in my hall every night they had four different main courses a vegan a vegetarian a meat or a fish one and then they also have a lot of sides also they won't raise an eyebrow if you ask them to have like your main couscous and then also have like pasta, rice and potatoes, like they will give you so much food, you will never be hungry. And I'm just so grateful for that because I feel like as a student you're happy to get as much food as you can. They also have a salad bar, which this year was packaged, I guess because of Corona. Obviously sad because of the plastic, but it, like, it gave us the option of eating it the next day for lunch, which was also very nice. Then every day you can also choose a snack, like a, a cake or yogurt fruit and also bread and then they will also serve a soup every single day. I have to say I really love the food. My friends who don't eat vegetarian or vegan foods, they said that they also really liked it but it became a little bit repetitive for them after a while. But since they have the, the choice of like four different meals, I think that you don't have to worry about anything. The food is so much better than you would expect in my opinion. And yeah, I, I can definitely recommend going to a catered hall like that. Lastly, I just want to let you guys know that there's a food discount scheme at LSE called the Food Club. So every time you spend one pound, you get five points into your account. You just download the app and by downloading the app, you actually get a free drink. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.